Sophia and Friends, a short moral story for children. Today we have a book named Sophia and Friends, a short moral story for children. I think they're so pretty. I hope you guys really enjoy it. I love it. Please give this video a like if you enjoy it and don't forget to subscribe for more stories. Thank you, reading. So, here we go. Once upon a time, there lived a beautiful girl named Sophia. She had a rooster whose feathers had a colorful shine. His comb was red like a rose when the sun shined on it. Every morning, the rooster crowed to wake Sophia up. Then he ran to her and ate some grains from her hand. One day, Sophia saw her neighbor's hen. She liked it very much, so she asked the neighbor to exchange the rooster for the hen. The rooster became very sad. His comb fell to one side. He could do nothing since Sophia had made her decision. The neighbor agreed, and Sophia had a new friend. The hen had a thick coat of feathers to keep her warm. She laid an egg every day. Sophia loved the hen so much. She held the hen in her arms, stroked her smooth feathers, and let her drink water and eat a handful of millet grain. A few days later, the neighbor bought a duck. Seeing the duck, Sophia liked it very much and insisted on the neighbor changing the hen for the duck. The hen fluffed her feathers and became very sad. She could do nothing since her owner wanted to have the duck. Sophia quickly became close to the duck. Every day, the two bathed together in the river. The duck swam next to the girl and said, Quack, quack, to remind her not to swim out too far. One day, Sophia's relative visited her and brought a cute puppy along with him. She loved the puppy very much so she asked to change the duck for the puppy. The duck didn't want to leave Sophia. He flapped his wings and said, Quack, quack, but it was useless. Sophia grabbed the duck, gave him to her relative, and got the puppy. Sophia stroked the puppy's fur and said to him, I had the rooster and I changed him for the hen. Then I changed the hen for the duck. Now I love you so much, so I changed the duck for you. Hearing this, the puppy held his tail low and hid himself under the chair. At midnight, the puppy opened the door and ran away. The following morning, when Sophia got up, she felt extremely sad. Now she had no friends with her because she didn't treasure friendship. Morale a good friendship should be based on sincerity, love, and mutual respect. The End Good job, friends. Thank you so much for reading with me. Bye, I'll see you next time.